In this video, we're going to talk about comparing fractions with number lines. Mr. Siemens, what's a number line? You might ask. Well, hold on to your hats, boys and girls. A number line is a line with numbers. Boom. Let's say that we want to compare the fraction 2 thirds and 3 fifths. Well, very similar to when we did strips, we want to find out what's a number that both our denominators, 3 and 5, go into. So I'm going to count by threes. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, and I'm going to count by fives, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and what number do they both share? They both share 15. So what that means is I'm going to make my number strips, or number lines rather, 15 centimeters long. In order to do this, I need a trusty tool called a ruler. Okay, so I'm going to draw my number lines 15 centimeters long. And as I draw them, I'm going to make sure that they are congruent. That means they have the same starting point and the same end point. They're the same size and shape. That's really important, boys and girls. All right, now that I've done that, now I have to divide them into thirds because my first denominator is 3. So remember, 15 centimeters is how long this is, divided by 3 equals 5. So I'm going to make a mark every 5 centimeters. 5, 10, and then 15 would be at the end. Perfect, now I have thirds. And for the other one, I have to think 15 divided by 5 gives me what? 15 divided by 5 is 3. So to divide into fifths, I'm going to make a mark every 3 centimeters. 3, 6, 9, 12, and 15 would be at the end. And now I have fifths, or 5 equal sections. Excellent. So to mark down 2 thirds, I... Well, just give me a moment to get rid of my ruler first. So starting at the zero, or the beginning, I would count over one, two thirds. So this line represents two thirds. And on the bottom one, this is my zero, and I want to mark down three fifths. One, two, three. So this line represents three fifths. All right, so now when I compare them, I can see that Two-thirds starts here and goes up to that mark. Three-fifths starts there and goes up to that mark. Oops, I went slightly beyond. Right up to there. So you can tell that two-thirds is bigger. So I would put a sign up top, two-thirds greater than three-fifths. Let's do another example. Let's say I want to compare four-fifths and eight-tenths. So once again, I have to find a number that both denominators go into. Well, I know that 5 can go into 10, because when I count by 5s, 5, 10, 15, 20, and so on, it goes into 10. So I'm going to make my number lines 10 centimeters in length. So I'm going to make two congruent number lines 10 centimeters in length. They have the same starting point and the same finishing point. All right. Now, since I'm dividing into fifths, into five sections, 10 centimeters divided by five is two. So every two centimeters, I'm going to make a mark. Two, four, six, eight, and then 10. Perfect. Now I have five equal sections. And when I divide by... Uh, 10 into tenths, 10 divided by 10 equals 1. So divide this into tenths, I make a mark every 1 centimeter.
and now I have 10 pretty equal spots. Excellent. Now I want to identify where 4 fifths would be. So if this is 0 on the top number line, I'm hopping 1, 2, 3, 4. So this line represents 4 fifths. Awesome. And starting on the bottom one, I want to represent 8 tenths. So starting at 0, 1 hop, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This number line, or this line, represents 8 tenths. And guess what? 4 fifths and 8 tenths are equal. They go to the same spot. All right. Now I'm going to show you something pretty intense, but it's going to be awesome. Trust me. Let's say that we want to compare more than one fraction. 4 twelfths, 3 sixths, 3 quarters, 1 quarter, and 3 twelfths. And let's say we want to use one number line. Oh boy. Well, this is what we have to do. We have to start off by looking at our denominators and thinking, what's a number that all denominators share? Well, I'll start with the 12, and I'll count by 12s. 12, 24, 36, 48, 60. Now, I'll count by 6s because I have a denominator of 6. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. And now I'll count by 4s because I also have denominators of 4. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. Is there a number they all share? Well, you're right if you say they all share 24. But there's a smaller number they all share, 12. They all share the number 12. So what I'm going to do is make one number line that's 12 centimeters long. So using the ruler, I'm going to draw one number line that is 12 centimeters long, roughly. <laughs> And now, in order to show twelfths, I have to think 12 centimeters is my number line. 12 divided by twelfths would be 1. 12 divided by 12 is 1. So that means I'm going to make a mark every 1 centimeter using my ruler, as, as accurate as I can be. All right. And now I can show 4 twelfths. So I'm going to show this fraction. So 4 twelfths, I would start at my 0 and hop forward counting the lines 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 twelfths is right here. All right. And since I also have 3 twelfths, I could show that. 3 twelfths is right here. Sometimes you can write the fractions above or below the number line so that you don't get too crowded and, and then it'll get really messy. All right, now I have to show sixes, sixth. So I have 12 centimeters is the length of my number line. 12 divided by 6 is 2. So every 2 centimeters, I'm going to draw a line, make a line, and you're going to see there's lots of overlap. That means lines on top of lines. Excellent, so the green represents sixths. And starting at my zero, at the start of the number line, I want to show three sixths. So I count one, two, three green lines. Three sixths, all right. Now I have fourths to show fourths. So I think 12 centimeters is my number line. 12 divided by 4 is 3. So that means every 3 centimeters I'm going to make a mark on the number line. And again there's some overlap and that's fine.
Now I can show three quarters. Three out of four. So starting at my zero at the start of the number line, I count three out of four parts. One, two, three. Three quarters would go right there. And then I'm left with one quarter. So I already have my quarters in the yellow or gold. So one quarter would be right here. All right, and now I can easily compare them. Three twelfths and one quarter look to be the same. And then four twelfths is next. Three sixths is next. And the biggest is three quarters. So that's how we can compare multiple fractions using one number line. All right, have fun with your number lines.